It's a jam-packed day indeed. We're kicking things off, as always, with a representative from the administration. Today, it will be Larry Kudlow, the director of the National Economic Council. He will be joined by Jim Cramer for the opening keynote. After that, the conversation, which is sure to encompass the latest on the trade tensions, will turn over to a panel of investors for their take on the global economic environment. This panel includes Mary Erdos, the CEO of J.P. Morgan Asset Management, as well as Mark Lazary of Avenue Capital. Then, Andrew, I'm looking forward to your conversation with Ken Griffin, who you manages, are. I am indeed, the $30 Thank billion dollar hedge you. fund, Citadel, one of the largest hedge funds yep. in the world. Uh, that should be very interesting. That shot is followed by a sit down with Ed Walkenheim, the prominent yet under the radar value investor. So that should be a nice contrast between those two hedge fund managers. The rest of the day encompasses three notable titans in the private markets, John Gray of Blackstone, David Rubinstein of Carlisle, who will be sitting down with Becky, and Howard Marks of Oak Tree. We'll have four investors today that will be providing their best stock picking ideas. And then the event will end with Steve Bannon, who most famously served as the White House chief strategist for President Trump. Guys. And I will say it again, is a big Bitcoin believer, right? It, which uh, Ken Griffin historically has not been. been. So maybe we'll ask them about both of those things. I mean, it's been interesting watching the Bitcoin debate between traditional investors and maybe a little more tech savvy and newer investors. Yes. What they think about Bitcoin as a, as a well, historical Bitcoin has also become value. sort of political in some ways, right? There's sort of a libertarian strain to the Bitcoin That's how it was founded, argument, right? under this kind of idea that there is no central government controlling it. It's libertarian by nature. Um, and there is a Bitcoin panel today as well to discuss those things and kind of the debate between Bitcoin versus blockchain. It seems like the institutionalized investors have... Uh, more uh, open-mindedness toward blockchain than right. Bitcoin, at least. So okay. we'll see. Leslie Picker, thank you. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.